Hey guys, um, it's Lita. Lately I've been asked um, how to do a background for a Photoshop photo or a picture. Why did I just say Photoshop? Okay, but um, yeah, I've been asked to do a background. Uh, actually for my friend named Alex and a couple other people, but I really not, you know, haven't got around to um, do it. But it's really, really simple. Um, you just open up your photo like this. And for a photo like this, normally I would just crop out like little shadow parts and whatnot. You just go ahead and use my uh, magic eraser tool to do that, just to crop it all up. But since not every single photo has a solid white background, I'm just going to show you the quick way to do it, which I think is the quickest way. Um, grab your polygonal tool. We'll make sure everything's flat, so right click your background layer which should be at the very very bottom of your edit right click it and then push flat flatten image I have not edited this photo so I have no layers yet it's just an example okay now keep on your background layer grab your polygonal tool right here and make sure the first box is selected Oops, right here and just zoom in a good bit and just start outlining your um, photo or the outside of your character like this Okay, now once you've already outlined it, if you have parts of the arm that are folded or the parts of the hair that you can't get to by going on the outside, just go up here and click the third box of your polygonal pool and go ahead and outline those areas too so you won't like crop them out along with your other pieces that you actually want. So go ahead and do that. Okay, now see that you got that done, go ahead and right click, edit, cut, and then go ahead and go open up the photo or the background that you want to use for um, your photo. Right here is mine that I actually made earlier. Go to edit, paste, and then you just paste your image back on. And that's how you put on backgrounds, that's basically really it. You can move it around. Um, if you have areas that you forgot to select or like that you have selected but you do not want, just grab your polygonal tool again, zoom in, go around the area that you don't want, like white parts, and just push delete. And they're gone. Like right here. Just go around it, push delete, and it's gone. Um, you can do many things. You can do your outer glow that you've seen other people use by going, um to the FX or the little this part right here and then pushing outer glow it just gives you that really nice glow on the outside 
a lot of people use this. I sometimes use it, but I mean, it's up to you. Um, you can do the whole entire stroke, the whole stroke thing that a lot of people do. Um, or, you know, it puts a stroke on the outside. Like that. Um, there's, you can also do that drop shadow. Like that. There's plenty of things that you can do, um, but since this is just a background tutorial, I'm not really going to get all into it. But yeah, that's how you put on backgrounds, and I hope this helped you guys out. If you have any more questions or comments, go ahead and talk to me on Formspring or YouTube. You could also contact me on Zat. Um, I'll provide the other information in the description, or if I'm on Monster Originals, which I probably will be, I'll go ahead and put that below this video and whatnot. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.